Hi! In this video we're gonna talk you through our first year in the market garden, provide the numbers and lessons learned. For each one of us this was the first year of farming vegetables in such a setting, including establishing the market garden from scratch or meadow. By the way, the book of Jean-Martin Fortier called The Market Gardener, a successful grower's handbook for small-scale organic farming, helped us planning the whole process and motivated us to just give it a try. This is what the land looked like before we started working on it. But um, before even starting planting vegetables and establishing beds, we needed to get all the infrastructure that is needed for farming. I will talk about the effort it took to establish this infrastructure. For all of the following projects, we got help from our friends. We tried to document the process as well as possible. However, we couldn't trace the working hours of all the people that helped. At first, we built a fence ourselves from scrap wood. Establishing the beds took us 166 hours and some sore muscles. Ew. This little greenhouse has been waiting in the yard for us. We restored it and placed it into the market garden. Building the irrigation system, which we didn't need much last year, took 43 hours. And watering the beds with the irrigation system and watering cans took us 77 hours. It took 85 hours to build the tool shed. That was so much fun! Mowing the grass surrounding the garden took 55 hours and provided us mulch material. Sawing and growing the young plants in elementary school, aka the greenhouse, took 95 hours. And setting up the washing station was a smaller task. You can see the total amount of hours that we spent before harvesting a single crop. As we're not really sure about what we forgot to document, you could take this as the lowest number of what we have spent so far. In the video of 51 weeks of chaos, we already talked about the method of the beds. Each bed is 10 meters times 75 centimeters big, and there is a path of 45 centimeters width in between each bed. To mark the end of a parcel, which means 10 beds, we left a path of 1 meter in width. We planted on 4 parcels, which means 40 beds. Now we're going into a little bit more detail while looking onto the beds. The numbers in kilograms we have harvested there and the time we spent. But first off, we want to give you a little bit of an overview and the family of plants growing in that particular parcel. In parcel A, we grew leaf and root vegetables. In parcel B, we had our solanaceous plants. In parcel C, we have our cucurbits and cruciferous plants. As we didn't have enough place for 10 more beds on this row for parcel D, we had to split it in two. So in part 1 of the parcel D, we mainly focused on onion and garlic and other small leaf plants. In the part 2 of the parcel D, we had our potatoes and beans. This actually was not just 4 beds, as they were double the width of the normal beds actually would have to be 8 beds. Keep that in mind when we come later on to the numbers we harvested. Here you can see the vegetables that we planted in the beds of partial A. In our documentation we always have the particular kind of vegetable uh, as well but this would make it a little bit confusing here. That's why we wrote the general family of them. 
is now will repeat over all the partials. You see the kilograms that we harvested in a monthly sum up until the month where we stopped harvesting from that particular parcel. As we do like numbers, we try to make a little bit of analytics here. To see what kind of vegetable is feasible, it's not just necessary that we get a big harvest in kilograms from it, but also how much time it takes us to get to that point. So therefore we try to calculate a key, which allows us to assess the particular family or crop, and also to have a comparison in the coming years, if a season went well or not. I do think a key like that just makes sense if you compare a crop against itself and not crops against each other or from different families towards each other. Also this will be now repeated through all the partials that you're gonna see. So in partial A we harvest a total of uh, 95 kilograms and spend 48 hours. This is excluding all the steps that you've seen before which we need to prepare the whole uh, market gardening and the beds. As you have now seen partial A, I'll leave you be in silence for the other partials to come. At the end of it, I'm gonna give you a short summary and cut some lessons learned from this season. Thing that we didn't mention yet is our greenhouse which we use to grow the small seedlings. This was then used to grow a lot of tomatoes and peppers. It helped us to extend the season long into fall.
Overall, we at least harvested 681 kilograms and spent around 277 hours this season. Of course, this could be in both ways a way higher number, but we do think for our season we did pretty well, as we had to build a lot of infrastructure and get to know the whole process around it. It was super interesting to see what we can improve and where do we want to improve in the coming year. Before we now come to the lessons learned, there is a last chart that I wanted to share with you. This shows the crops from which we could harvest the most, down to those crops which basically failed this year. And the very last chart where we have the families or the particular beds listed with their key, so kilogram to hour ratio. Keep in mind if you see duplications of a crop that we have the exact naming of the crop in the background. So for us, this is a very interesting sheet. And now to the lessons learned. A lot of beds stayed empty as we didn't catch up sowing alternative crops. We want to have the fast growing plants in stock to replant the beds anytime. It will be easier to work with a printed calendar in the toolshed. Next year, we will mulch the paths in time before the weeds take over. We also shall pay more attention after sowing out the seeds, whom of those appear in time and where we have to fill gaps. For documentation reasons, it is easier to only grow one variety of a kind in one bed. You may think our documentation is already quite detailed, but we can do better. <coughs> Luckily, Wolfie loved navigating the drone above the field and document the whole process from spring to fall. Enjoy the show! Thank you.